Hey everybody and welcome to the Daily Scope 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 for the 14th of March. So the first aspect of today, which may be the only one I can't remember, but yeah, anyway, is Mercury making a contra parallel to Jupiter. That says that to 8.54 p.m. today, tonight, but it's been affecting us for the past couple of days and still affect us maybe up to the next week or two. So, you know, we've got Mercury and Jupiter coming together here in a contra parallel which is the same as an opposition but this means that in terms of decalation they're on opposite side of the earth's equator but there's still and that this is called a contra parallel so yeah Anyway, <laughs> on the positive side, this transit can bring about awareness and communication and make us more clear in our talking and thinking, giving us clarity, as well as an increased awareness of the importance of connection with others. It can also bring about a sense of optimism and or supporting new ideas, helping us open up to possibilities that we may not have previously considered. But on the downside, this transit can bring about confusion, misunderstandings and and the potential for arguments or disagreements. It can also be a time of frustration and conflict, making it difficult to make decisions and reach compromises. But fortunately, with careful consideration, so if you can just be a bit mindful and a willingness to be open-minded, this transit can be used to make positive changes in our lives and heal any debates or anything else with other people. Also tonight at 11.39, Mars makes its exact square with Neptune, which has affected us for maybe about three to five days already. Still going to affect us for the next week or two. So when Mars squares Neptune, energy levels can go up and down. So Jupiter's contra parallel to Chiron was bringing us that energy optimism and this can help us deal with this lack of energy and fatigue or feeling hyper or mischievous or aggressive because we've got Mars, you know, squaring, which is a hard aspect with Neptune, so it can bring some challenges. So this energy can make some people pussy, egotistical, at worst tyrannical. They may try and force others to do what they want. Others will want to take shortcuts or deceive or manipulate other people basically to their own sort of like game. Some people may try and escape using emotions by getting distracted in porn, hookups, food, alcohol, drugs. Lacking assertiveness can make others take advantage of you and some of you can be overcome with doubt and be a bit weak-minded. When Mars makes a square to Neptune, it's best to follow the rules, yet this may be hard to do as this can be a very strange bordering on insanity-inducing energy. This aspect can make us psychologically, spiritually, and emotionally unstable people can go out that way to be cruel and destabilize other mental states for fun for kicks so just watch out for that some people may just be doing things to get gaslight you or make you seem like the bad person and stuff but with that being said don't get too paranoid and think that the world's out to get you but don't also ignore red flags and trust your gut feelings to an extent then gather that evidence and then do and react accordingly be careful of what you eat and drink over this period as what you intake can affect your ability to think straight it's best to check the facts and be cautious in all professional social educational and intimate matters or seek out the help of someone who is not affected by the irrationality of this transit to do so mars's influence can also make some of you bully others or do your best to ridicule other people in some way which can bring about negative consequences such as you can try and damage their reputation or they can try and harm you in some way this vibration also brings the deception to the day and not only to the day but for the next couple of weeks especially lying to yourself the subconscious mind can play tricks on you and unless you practice some sort of self-awareness or meditation or you're a naturally and logically orientated person you can be driven by your unhealed psychological emotional and spiritual wounds making you make poor decisions judgments can be faulty right now and your own other thoughts or actions and manipulations can distort your ability to separate fact from fiction healthy choices from toxic ones especially in the realms of sex some of you may use intoxicating substances to visit the psychic realms and um, your psychological or emotional state can affect the quality of information you receive to so be careful um, of any clairvoyant exploration 
revelation, especially if your natal chart shows you can be easily deceived by people in the uh, astral realm. So lots of squares to your 12th house, 8th house, maybe your first house and second house as well, involving Neptune, Pluto, Scorpio, Sagittarius energy even. And using tactics such as sex magic, spells and other sorcery enchantment sort of things can backfire and disturb your overall well-being. If you don't feel grounded, it's best to avoid the cult right now. Content creators can use this energy to discuss the dangers of partaking in psychic exploration while under the influence of drugs, alcohol, or when you're otherwise unstable and the hazards of using love and other spells to control others. Also talking about mental health issues and the many stages of diagnosing, understanding and learning to manage and live with them, giving advice on how to break through the stigmas of accepting that you have emotional or psychological disorders and how to deal with addiction issues and low self-esteem issues and stuff like that also giving tips on how to manage your subconscious mind by dealing with the unhealed psychological spiritual and emotional traumas that live there as well acknowledging that it's not easy to deal with these things it is easier um, to run and numb ourselves to the pain in the short term but you know what goes up must come down we can only stay high for so long right so talking about the many benefits of long-term emotional health management even though it is the long view and um, also how we can use this energy of Mars square Neptune to uncover hidden talents and feeling more mentally secure building self-awareness forgiveness empathy and love and feeling in that inner void that we may or you know which we do or have so yeah that's the daily scope 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 for the 14th of March